Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to calculate net income if we're given beginning and ending equity and we have some transactions like stock issuance and dividends. So let's get started. So this is Shep Companies. We have records for this company and the instructions are simply calculate net income or net loss with the following separate transactions. So we have three situations if we issue stock or, or have dividends. And we're given beginning of the year assets and liabilities and the end of the year assets and liabilities. So we need to calculate equity. Remember the accounting equation is assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. So we're going to use algebra and say, well, assets minus liabilities equal equity. And we do the same thing for the end of the year. So we know our beginning of the year is 28,000 and the end of the year is 45,000. So down here in this problem, we're going to say our beginning equity is going to be 28,000 and we're going to make it absolute because I want to copy that across from A, B, and C. So I'm going to do the F4. So it makes it dollar sign C, dollar sign 20. That's anchoring it. That's called an absolute address because it's going to be beginning equity of 28,000 in all three scenarios. We're going to do the same thing for ending equity. We're going to point to the 45,000. I'm going to make that F4 to make it anchor at um, the 45,000 here, and we're going to copy it all the way across. All right, so now what we need to do is we have a setup that says, look, beginning equity, plus issuing common stock or additional investment plus net income minus dividends is going to give us ending equity. So we're going to have to work our way backwards if we have stock and we have dividends. Now, we're trying to calculate this middle number. I'm going to highlight this. We're trying to calculate the middle net income or net loss. Depends on what we, what we have. So item A, we issue additional common stock of $3,000 and we have dividends of 7,000. How do we back in and find what happens? Well, if we go down, we go 28 plus three plus net income minus seven gives us 45. So we're gonna have to work our way backwards to figure out what net income is. So here's what we do. We're gonna take the 45, start with the bottom, and we're gonna add the dividends because we subtracted going down, but we're gonna subtract out the two pluses here, minus the 3,000 issuing stock, minus the 28,000. So what we have is our net income is 21,000. Now, that's going to be the same every time. I'm going to do B, but I'm going to copy it over for C because we don't have to do this every time if we're using Excel. So let me do it one more, and then I'll be able to copy it over to um, scenario C. Item B now. We have common stock of 15,000 was issued and zero dividends. So how do we calculate net income? Well, we're gonna reverse it to try to get net income. So 45 plus the dividends minus the issuing the stock minus the 28,000. So what we have is net income must be 2,000. Let's check our work, 28 plus 15 plus two does that equal 45? You know, minus zero here. Does it equal 45? Yes, it does. So we're in good shape. Now, I'm going to copy this across. We have a formula that stays the same, except it changes column. It changes from C to D to E in this column when we're looking at um, the spreadsheet here. This column C and D and E. So I'm going to just copy this over. So what happens is if we put in, we've built a template now. If we issue additional stock, let's say 10,000, but we pay out dividends of uh, 5,000, then that would calculate our net income. So at item C, it says no additional stock. So we're gonna make that zero and dividends of 12,000. So that means our net income must be 29,000. This is how you work a problem with beginning equity and ending equity and you're issuing stock or have an additional investment you have net income or net loss, and you have dividends. Real quickly, what would make the net income negative? Well, if we issued a bunch of stock, let's say we issued 30,000 of stock, and we had only $1,000 of dividends, 
then you see we have a net loss of negative 12,000. Net loss of 12,000 will be a negative number. So I'm going to go back and put the original numbers. So the original numbers would be no common stock dividend and dividends uh, I'm sorry, no common stock issued and dividends of 12000 So that's how you work the problem. And the answer is 29000 net income.